right guys how's it going welcome back to the channel so today I'm doing something a little bit different I'm actually gonna do my first product review I've never done a product re review before um, it's not something I really want to do a lot of but if there is something that I do use and I absolutely love uh, I will share it with you guys uh, so just let me know in the comments what you guys think of uh, me doing some product reviews if it's something you guys want to see in the future so anyways, the product that I'll be showing you guys um, is this fly rod. So it's a four piece fly rod. Um, now I will go and and say this is available on, on Amazon. It is cheap and it is made in China. I know I try to promote as much Canadian stuff local stuff as possible but at the end of the day um, I'm a very budget conscious person and when it comes to fishing and hunting um, you know unfortunately the quality that you get out of China sometimes is so darn good for so cheap I'm not saying everything is um, but this in particular is so I'll show you guys what rod this is so if, I don't know if you can see there. So it is a Max Catch Extreme. It's a 10 foot eight weight four piece. Um, I got it with the fighting butt because basically this was going to be my catfishing rod, my pike rod, uh, even smallmouth bass when I'm chucking those really, really big flies. Um, so this, like I said, it's a cheap rod. It actually comes in uh, under a hundred bucks it is a carbon rod but I believe it is a carbon graphite but but anyways um, I spent I spent a year with this rod now uh, I got it last year actually I got it for my birthday uh, because this is what what I had asked for uh, I ended up pairing it with a dragonfly journey seven to eight weight a uh, reel which pairs up really really nice has a decent sized arbor but so what are the pros and cons basically I mean it is a cheap rod um, it's not going to compare to your sages and your Douglases like I have a six weight Douglas and I absolutely love that thing it's not that my last eight weight was um, a dragon uh, like a graphite dragonfly rod that I got from Canadian Tire, 400 bucks. That thing did me awesome. Uh, that's how I learned how to fly fish. It caught me lots and lots of fish. But I wanted, when it broke, uh, I wanted to get another eight weight. But again, I only had li limited funds, uh, so I was kind of looking at the, the cheaper alternatives, uh, and I came across this rod. I thought for the price, hey, why not give it a shot? Um, so the, some of the features of the rod, um, I like it that it's four piece. Uh, it breaks down really nice and I can put it in my pack. But generally I keep it in two sections. Now, it has a really, really nice uh, reel seat. It's all aluminum. It has the double rings. And like I said, I got the fighting butt. It's a cork handle, very, very comfortable cork handle. A 10 foot 8 weight um, definitely feels like an 8 weight it is a, um, a heavy casting rod um, I'd say compared to my dragonfly I definitely cast better it's not a long distance rod it's not one that you're gonna be chucking these uh, big heavy flies very far but you know what 30 40 I'd say even 50 feet not a real issue cast exactly where I want it to cast um, when I'm fishing the river I mean I don't really need to cast more than that I've done some 80 foot casts but um, the odd one wasn't pretty that's for sure um, there's a, some, when you do get into a big fish it definitely has some nice backbone so I mean like I said if you've been following my channel you just saw that I recently just caught a nice big uh, channel cat with this exact rod um, 
so yeah like I said there's not too many cons uh, if you're looking for a professional grade um, rod this is not not it like I said it's a cheap it's a good way for somebody that wants to get into fly fishing to get into fly fishing or if you want to have a backup rod or you want to get a bigger rod to chase bigger fish this this is it like honestly um, it's great I've I've probably caught a good 40 50 drum all ranging from two pounds to ten plus and catfish I mean I probably caught a dozen cats some of them in that 20 pound range caught some pike I've caught smallmouth bass with this I use this to troll with um, it casts pretty nicely with, with sink tips and big flies and I mean anybody that's ever tried to cast some sink tips and big flies you know it's not the easiest thing to, to, to cast not compared to a dry fly it's not gonna be a dry fly rod that's not even the reason why I bought this um, so I couldn't honestly tell you the lighter weight rods if they're gonna perform like this one does but for the purpose of chucking big heavy line combination and, and fly combinations this thing rocks um, and like I said that price point under 100 bucks it really can't beat it um, as for the customer service I got no experience with it I haven't had any issues with this uh, when you do buy this it says on there you get uh, one year free replacement and lifetime repair but again it's out of China so I don't know if you'd really want to send a hundred dollar rod out to China to get repaired and really if if uh, one of the snake guides or anything like that breaks you can buy them and do it yourself or you can get somebody locally to do it for pretty cheap um, yeah other than that I mean that's it really like I said it's just a, a really really good budget rod and uh, I have no complaints like I said I've caught lots of fish with this thing and it's done great so um, if you guys have used this rod or had bad experience put it, put it down in the comments I'm kind of curious to hear what other people have to say I mean that it's had decent reviews obviously with anything there's gonna be some some defects here and there but you know oh yeah that's the other thing so the four sections actually fit in really like they lock in nice and tight um, no real issues there of them coming apart I mean I don't know what else I could really say about this other than that it's just a great budget rod that gets you chucking flies um, and again I don't promote a lot of stuff out of China but this is one of those things that I definitely will uh, for the budget conscience uh, conscious consumer um, even with a couple nicks and stuff like that it hasn't affected it at all like I, said, I put I put a good year in this on this rod now and no no real issues all right so something happened to the end of this footage so I'm just gonna end it right there um, thanks for watching like I said if you just need a good uh, a good backup rod or if you're a beginner or you know even if you wanted a half decent rod that's not gonna break the bank this rods for you anyways thanks for watching and if you like this content don't forget to hit the like at the bottom uh, if you're new to this channel go check out the rest of my content if you like it then uh, don't forget to subscribe and we'll catch you guys in the next one